All right, guys, so this is my video and uh, showing you magnetic fields with permanent magnets and electromagnets. So here I have an old CRT TV. It's got a dielectric gun here in the back and it's got some coils, uh, electromagnetic coils that um, deflect or displace the, uh, the dielectric coming from a magnet. So here you can see black spot from the magnet magnetism displacing the dielectricity and if we get in close here you can see that portal and uh, how this pole is um, deflecting it uh, clockwise so that tells you it is I want to say the south pole can't really remember but show you the other pole and it goes the other way so um, and then, you know, obviously, i show you from the inertial plane, you get this uh, phi shape from the egg. You can see the uh, magnetism still. Um, I think that comes from geromagnetic precession. Um, let's see here. Yeah, flip it around. I'll show you this side. Oh, what the fuck? All right, well, anyways, if you flip it, you'll see the other side. But you can see how, sorry, I got so much iron and steel around here. All right, so you can see how, how it's uh, static. It doesn't move at all, all right? So I'll show you, uh, actually, that's yeah, the side I wanna show you. So you can see <clears throat> how you get the torus and you get the hyperboloid. All right, so it doesn't move at all, and then, okay, that works for me. All right, and then here I have an electromagnet. It's got a little bit of a bend in it. Um, I can throw up another thing on the channel that shows what this looks like. But, so here I'll just supply, let's just go around five volts so you can see it's already distorting the dielectricity already, but actually let's let's give it some more power. All right. Actually, it's not working. Let's see here. Gotta find my pole finder real quick. Sorry, I got a mess, but we do we do work over here. All right. Oh, yeah, my viewing film. I don't see an inertial plane. see what our problem is. I see what our problem is. Sorry, I got another coil over there that I'm trying to turn into a uh, induction motor for another project I'm working on. All right, so now we're just gonna supply it with a couple of volts and now you can see the distortion. So, power all right and now you're only getting from what I can tell is the tor or yeah the toroid because it's dumping as Ken Wheeler says electromagnets dump their dielectric dielectric component into counter space so you're only getting the toroid here and because I'm using AC, you're getting the switching from north to south pole every second because obviously we use 60 hertz. So you can see there that it's flipping and you only get 
one half of the conjugate geometry of magnetism. So again, you can see it's flipping. Sorry for the, uh, the bands. It's not doing that in real life. But here, and then it gets a little louder, starts resonating. But it's definitely harder to see on this, but um, in the direction of my thumb, you get a certain wavy pattern. And then back over here, you get it doing another way. And let's see, if I flip it, you get it the other way. So, and what that looks like is you can look at the, uh, the dipole image of the cosmic micro and background radiation. And you can see you get a pull down here and a pull here and you get a swirl here and another swirl there. And basically you're just getting that energy flow around a magnet. So it's hard to see on the TV, on the CRT TV, but you can see it. So again, and then I think it's cool. Um, the electromagnet or magnets or any other ferrous object will actually vibrate near the electromagnets. So, and I think that just has to do with the 60 hertz. So, and with electromagnets, it doesn't matter. You can see, and with these I have, these magnets, the poles are uh, not covered in tape. So, and actually you can see the dielectric portion the centripetal, centripetal, and then you can see the centrifugal. I got this just by uh, the other magnet. I got the one by one inch and 52. They got stuck together and I was rotating them, uh, trying to get them off, just being too weak. And that's the pattern I got. But you can see with a large enough magnet or electromagnet, it does not matter. Attraction and repulsion just cease to exist. You get a you you get a repulsive force up here, but eventually dielectric acceleration just takes over. So and I'll grab my other magnet here. And yeah, yeah. Don't want those to slam together but Oh, and I think I broke it. No, we're okay, but then you can still see I get attraction or repulsion, sorry. She rolled over. Still get the repulsion. Let's see? So yeah, that's uh, and too, like if you really pay attention, um, man, I wish I could get it to look like that all the time. Um, but yeah, if you really pay attention, sorry, I forgot where I was going with that. Oh yeah, if you really pay attention, um, this Taurus. Okay, looks pretty much the same as the one singular photo of the electron that we have. So, and if you watch Ken's vi videos and you know, you really start to think about the field theory and you know, back in the day, them saying Electricity and magnets were the same thing, and electricity is just the hybrid of magnetism and dielectricity. It really makes sense that the electron doesn't exist. It's just highly misunderstood field theory. Well, they don't even have ne probably never even heard of field theory, but yeah, uh, that was just a quick video on. Um, I don't want to stay because nothing's ever static, but in terms of what you can see, the static field of 
the permanent magnet as opposed to the dynamic or flowing field of the electromagnet, but that's really just because we're getting the AC flowing in and out, so the poles are constantly switching, and we're only getting the torus because the electromagnet is dumping its dielectric component into counter space. So, I will have a video soon on seeing the electromagnet under the ferro cell. I think that'd be really interesting. I personally haven't seen it myself yet. Um, hopefully we can do that today and get that up as well. Have a good one, guys.